Uh, good luck with that. Now, I want you to be really honest. Have you ever passed wind in front of your fiancé? <laughs> or left the door open when you've been to the toilet? Perry Edwards from Little Mix has. Uh, she ended up all over the, over the front pages <laughs> <laughs> for supposedly uh, committing such a, a social faux pas. But is it she really? Is, is she trumped in front of Zane. That's <laughs> she what did, she exactly. Did. But is it really so unacceptable in modern day relationships? And uh, if it is, what else is off limits? We're here to give our guidance as leading etiquette expert William Hansen and psychologist Dr Linda Papadopoulos. Welcome to you both. Uh, so this is. <laughs> I know I got it wrong. I, I know. How many? I know. Shut up. Papalopalopalopalopalopalopalopalopalopalopalopalopalopalopalopalopalopalopalopalopalopalopalopalopalopalopalopalopalopalopalopalopalopalopalopalopalopalopalopalopalopalopalopalopalopalopalopalopalop
room are never leaving it on the table, what does that do? Mm -hmm. It raises suspicion, it raises concern. So it's again, what are the meanings behind our actions? And that's it. So whether it is feeling so comfortable that you pee with the door open or feeling that you have to have the phone with you, how do I understand what that means? Right? Well, it's funny you should mention that. I think we might have a clip. Question one. Which of these bad habits of yours oh, no. would Dan say annoys him the most? Is it when you leave your fake eyelashes around the house? Is it when you put your leg over him in bed? <laughs> or is it when you insist on leaving the loo door open <laughs> when you're having a tittle? <laughs> All of the above <laughs> I am actually guilty of, but I think the one that Dan finds most offensive um, is probably, as you put it, leaving the toilet door open when I go for a tittle. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry! <laughs> Sorry! Well, I, d I, so I can't look at you when I talk about this, so I know <laughs> you're going to be so disapproving. I am. I am I, I, that's, I'm shocked, appalled. <laughs> <laughs> I think, why? I mean, why? But do you just forget? To, to close the door. Know. Do you not have a door on your bathroom? No, I Some do. I do. I do. I guess, like when the kids downstairs, you want to just keep an eye open just to make sure that they're fine. I don't know. I don't really think about it. I wouldn't do it with anyone else who walked in the house. Well, I would hope I'm not. So, I feel slightly ashamed. <laughs> <laughs> No. No. Don't feel ashamed, but again, it is about that sense of comfort, and you do. You get to a point in a relationship where things don't need to be said or yeah, but I wouldn't. Funny wise. enough, I don't see anything wrong with that, but I would never... Not that I do, because imp it's impossible for me to do the first thing we were discussing, but I would never do that. Impo I see it totally it, with, with different. Them. Yes! Mm. I can't believe we're talking about this. <laughs> we are talking about this as if we were in your we're sitting room. This is this. ridiculous. Just, We've got to remember we're actually on the telly. I know. What I we know. don't want is we don't want you to get too comfortable <laughs> with doing something and then when you do have other people round I mean, for yeah, it to happen. The, but that would never, obviously, Because that if it would becomes sort of a habit, like criticising your, your partners, a lot of it's amazing how many dinner parties I've gone to and, <laughs> and, the, and the two couples start sort of very subtly criticising each other in public. But that's, kind of, public. that's kind of life, yeah. isn't it? That's what people do. A little, I mean, to a certain extent. You think that's a bad idea? Yes, because it, if you're going to, you know, your relationship to, to, to a certain extent should be private and little niggles if it builds. And there are certain couples that are constantly doing it. Yeah. And it can make other, yeah. other people, feel other guests, feel a bit But also, interestingly, he said that that's what bothered him. So, for what that's worth, and I'm not trying to put them, he had to choose something, fair enough. Yeah. But of all the things, so I think it's one of those things, if it does, and I'm so sorry, this is so uncomfortable, <laughs> but if you can close the door, I'm just, you know, putting it out there, you may, you may want to close the door. You don't, you don't, need, to lock, <laughs> you don't need to lock the door. I'm, no, lo I'm sure. loving this. <laughs> Oh, Philip, what are your bad habits? No, I, I'm like a cat. I'm like a cat with yeah. that sort of stuff. Absolutely, no, I'm, I'm, go I'm gone. You'll never find me. And also, what's the I don't go in other people's houses. I don't anything like that. You're just no, 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 I can't, can't do it. Quietly, no, I am in and out. like a cat. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> right then. I don't go out in the garden and bury it. <laughs> <laughs> Just so that you know. Uh, right then, thank you so much. Oh, it's been a pleasure. Thank you. I have a feeling we've let you down horribly. I'm so, no, so, I'm so, so sorry. I'm so sorry. may never come I'm, back. I don't know what to say. <laughs> Straight after the break, by royal appointment, John Barrowman, MBE, is here. Live. He wouldn't do not, anything like not that. Not to be missed. Absolutely. Not to be missed. <laughs> oh, I'm all hot. <laughs>